Hey guys, it's Alon. Recently, I got a suggestion in the comments on my other 64-bit Farlands video that I made about a month ago asking to investigate the effects of 64-bit precision loss in further detail. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, let's type in slash GP 10,100 and 281,434,000. 976,710,656. This is 2 to the 48th power. Or 8 to the 4 to the 2, or 8 to the 2 to the 4. Anyway, so we're actually in the middle of a swamp biome here. And you will and and you are see, already seeing the effects of the biome fill farlands that I covered in my last video in my last video on this mod. Anyway, but anyway, if I get to, if I get down to the ground here. You're already going to notice some of the first jitters, and when I and when I cross and when I cross to the 48th, it is going to become much more noticeable. So watch when it turns to 56. There. You're now starting to see the most uh, first jitter is in the 64-bit mod. But when we, if we head over to this little island here, it'll actually be even more noticeable because I won't be flying in midair. Okay, that's kind of redundant. All right. Fine, I won't be in midair. I won't be. Yeah, it's kind of redundant. But anyway, what, now watch this. I'm I'm sneaking on the ground, and, as, and after I cross 21 trillion, 474 billion, 976 million, 7, 10,656, my it's, my movement is going to become significantly blockier. Anyway, but this isn't very. But this isn't in major distance. But now I'll teleport to 10,162 trillion. 949 billion, 953 million, 421,312. This is 2 to the 49th power, or 2 to the 7 to the 2. Wait, it's the same swamp home again? Wow, that was that was actually very weird. It was the same, ch was the same chunks from the 2 to the 48th area, but the whole map just like unloaded itself and was replaced with new with new chunks. That was that's a very weird huggedness mod. Anyway, here at this point, the jitteriness will become even more noticeable. I guess I'm gonna have to put a different X coordinate each time to avoid that issue. Anyway, if I, when I cross 312 here, the jitteriness is gonna become much more noticeable, especially when I'm like moving diagonally. Well, and, and movement isn't a whole lot, isn't a, a major problem yet either. And, and there's still a bit of a glitch there. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to use a different export in each time. So now it's due to 65. So now it's head to to the power 50 or one quadrillion, one twenty five trillion, eight ninety nine billion, nine six million, eight forty two thousand six hundred twenty four. There. So yeah, chances are good I'm gonna end up smack in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, I just did. So I'm going to have to build a little platform here to show the effects of this distance. So let's get to the bottom of the room here. Let's build a cobblestone platform up to ground level. Alright, you can already see that my movement is very bulky, even when flying. I'm actually even having trouble placing blocks that occasionally. Anyway, if I get if I, if I get back down the ground here, you're going to see my movement actually become much blockier. Alright. I passed 624 once again. And I actually didn't build my platform at all before the 2, two to the 50 mark, so. So, yeah. Notice how when I crossed 624, my movement became very blocky. So now, let's head to 5,100. And 2 quadrillion, 251 trillion, 799 billion, 813 million, 645,248. This is 2 to the power 51. And I'm smack in the middle of the ocean again. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, when the map loads in here. At this point, I'm not going to comment on the blocky map movement anymore, as that's getting kind of redundant. I guess I'm going to have to build, I guess, so I guess I'm just going to have to build another platform up from the bottom of the ocean. So... When I cross 2 to 51 on this platform here, 
I'm actually ha already, ha again, once again, I'm having trouble placing blocks. When I cross to the 51, you're actually going to see on, that, I can't, that, I, that I can barely walk anymore. I cannot move at walking speed anymore past this point. This is the same effect at 4,194,304 on Bedrock Edition. I can still move by sprinting, though. Now, the next, now let's head to four quadrillion, five and three trillion, five ninety nine billion, six hundred twenty seven million, three hundred seventy thousand, four ninety six. This is two to the power fifty two. God, every single one of these coordinates is smack in the middle of the ocean. This is getting kind of, this is actually getting kind of boring. Every single time I have to, so I guess, so I guess this time I'm going to build my platform out of something else at least to make this a little more interesting. I'm actually having a lot of trouble placing blocks right now. And I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually out of fly mode. So when I, so when I head down below here and build up the platform, I'm already even having tr trouble moving, just flying. Now, not now. Not only am I having trouble placing blocks, I'm actually seeing blocks placed at the wrong places. And it's actually getting legit. And again, it's getting legitimately hard to move now. But you are gonna see that when I build this platform here, you are gonna see the a pretty major effect. Come on, this is the same problem that I have in the Bedrock Edition Farlands, where it's very hard to get into it. Where the effects actually make it hard to get to an exact position. Anyway. When I get down below here, you're actually going to see the ground isn't solid. And if I try to get down here... Yeah, you saw when I... When, when, right when my coordinate hit 4 quadrillion, 5 and 3 trillion, 5 and 9 billion, 6 and 27 million, 3 and 70 thousand, 4 and 96, I fell right through the world. This is the same problem in Bedrock Edition at 8 million, 3 and 8 thousand, 608. Water will still function normally, though. Now, let's head... Now let's head to... 100. Let's head to, actually, no, it's, that's pretty close to spawn, actually. Let's head to 50,000, 100, 9 quadrillion, 7 trillion, 199 billion, 254 million, 740,992. This is right, this is right where the stripe lands. Well, this is right where, is this, okay, when well, my game stops lagging. Yeah, this is right where the stripe lands begin in Java edition. And this is just, and this is in a jungle biome, just like the last one that, just like the last case I showed of the stripe land. So while the regular blocks have the same issues that are in Bedrock Edition, I actually am unable to modify the world beyond this point at all, pretty much. The effects on normal blocks are pretty much the same as in Bedrock Edition, yet fluids actually stretch out. To double the he the laying phase size, so it's actually stretch out to double the the normal size at this point. And I'm and again, I am not able to place any blocks at all out this far for whatever reason. This could just be because of the bug that used to exist. Actually, now I can place blocks. That could have been just the bug that used to exist in the old versions of Minecraft, where where when you're on the exact corner of a block. Or something you actually couldn't modify the world to, to, to the in a certain when looking in a certain direction, and I actually cannot move into the stripe lands at flying speed. This is because the the speed is, is the game is really in box per tick, and not and once the increment gets rounded off to zero, I can't move anymore. So yeah, I never anyway. I still I never thought I would see the Java stripe lands. Until this mod came out. Now let's head to 1 million, 118 quadrillion, 14 trillion, 390 billion, 509 million, 41,984. This is 2 to the power, this is 2 to the power 54. Now you're gonna see, now over here is just the regular stripe lands, but beyond this point is something that I actually never got to see in Bedrock Edition because of its 30 million teleportation limit. The 2D lands. And, and and unlike in Bedrock Edition, the water actually doesn't become invisible here. It instead stretches out four blocks in width. 
All right. So now, now what I'm going to show you guys is another phenomenon that I never got to, to see in Bedrock Edition because of because of its 30 million teleportation limit. Let's head to 10 quadrillion, 118 quadrillion, 14 trillion, 398 billion, 509 million, 41,984. Now you're gonna now what you're gonna see is actually the corner stripe lands combining with the 2D lands. This could be seen in Bedrock Edition if one axis is beyond 2 to the 25th and the other is between 2 to the 24th and 2 to the 25th. And now if I tell and now it is turning night here. I, I literally cannot move in the corner of Strike Plans, of course. It is about to turn night here, so let's keep going really quick. So let's move really quick. Yeah. Along really quickly. So now it's at you 53 quadrillion, 9 or 5 trillion, 3 billion, 89 million, 432,000, 464, and 153 quadrillion, 9 or 5 trillion, 3 billion, 89 million, 462,464. So now you literally are not going to see anything except for the water, which is actually which is actually eight blocks at this distance. Like, look at this. The water looks the water looks giant in the corners, and lava both look giant in the corner stripe lands at this distance. And it actually looks like I'm right above the water, even though I'm not. I'm actually way above the water. And we're, and over here, you're just going to see nothing except for the shadows. But if I turn the stripe land to fix on far lands, this is actually the place I visited in the last video. But if I now head to, but if I now head to, where next? Should we go? What should we check out next? I'm not really sure. Anyway, but if we now head out to four quadrillion, three, four quintillion, three and twelve quadrillion, four and three trillion. 8 billion, 7, 7, 8 billion, 7, million, 9 or I can't remember the exact number, of course. 100, Just, just, just wrap this up with the, with the far, with the farther lands in this mod. You're gonna see a, an extreme manifestation of the ch of the closed chunk not rendering issue that act that, that the guys on these farlands videos would have when they teleported like billions of blocks out, and and it hasn't and this actually hasn't even been observed without this mod because this is, because this is like equivalent to beyond two to the be gone two to the thirty two. So on the left here you can see the regular farther lands of the edge farlands, on the right you can actually see the farther lands the edge farther lands coming off the corner of farlands. All right. So, so this is the final effect of the 64-bit precision loss that we can observe with the stripe lands fix turned on, and and you can also notice how mineral veins are generating only on one block strips. All right, so so now so now we're pretty so now that pretty much wraps up our investigation. Of the six of the effects of 64-bit precision loss for today. So now, so now head to one, 100, 7 trillion, 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 I'm using this location just to show that the game will, will still function normally, even trillions of blocks away. And of course, it's stuck in the middle of the ocean once again. And I use that number because it's 3 to the 3 to the 3 as well. Anyway, it's build a platform up. And now, and bricks, like we did before. And use a bed here. And, and then I'll do the outro to this video. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and, cons and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell, and then click on all for all notifications. Goodbye.